Hello guys, how are you today? I'm so happy to meet with you again. Welcome back to my channel, Math by Ms. Ramirez. Today we're going to work on multiplication. We're going to continue talking about multiplication properties and in today's lesson it will be the distributive property of multiplication. And you may ask yourself, what is the distributive property of multiplication? Mm. Let's see what is it about. The distributive property of multiplication states that multiplying the sum of two or more atoms by a number produces the same result as when each atom is multiplied individually by the number and the products are added together like in this case we're seeing right now oh no a lot of stats i cannot work with this very property of multiplication come down we're going to go deeper and think it's better come with me okay guys uh let's begin by remembering that distributive property of multiplication allows me to break one of the factors in the multiplication center. On the first example, we have 4 times 9. We can break 4 or 9, any of these two factors, but just one at a time. We cannot break 4 and 9 at the same time. We cannot break both factors at the same time. In this case, I decided to break 9 because 9 is the greatest factor. Okay, now we're going to think on ways that I had to break apart 9. Very good! If you were thinking in 4 plus 5, that's awesome because 4 plus 5 is a way we have to break apart 9. Very good! Okay, now let's think in another way that we have to break up our 9. Very good! 3 plus CX equals 9. A plus 1 is another way that we have to break up our 9. Very good! We have different ways to break up our 9. And you can pick any of the ways you want. In my case, I am going to pick this way. I am going to pick 4 plus 5. Now my next step is to rewrite the multiplication sentence. I am going to rewrite the multiplication sentence using the factor that I did not break, which is 4, and using 4 plus 5, which are the numbers that I got from the breaking of 9. So far my multiplication sentence will be like this, 4 times parentheses, 4 plus 5, and then parentheses again. Next, I am going to multiply 4 times 4. And then 4 times 5. It's very important to remember that I'm multiplying the factor that I did not break, which is 4, times the numbers that I got from the factor that I broke apart, which was 9. Next, we're going to multiply 4 times 4 equals 16. We're going to keep the plus sign. And then we're going to multiply 4 times 5, which is 20. The next step will be adding these two products. 16 and 20 and the answer for that is 36 this will be my final answer 36 is the total amount for this multiplication center so 4 times 9 equals 36 yes very good we have done with this very good Okay, now we're going to work on another example. Let's see, let's do it. Ready, go. Okay, the next example is 14 times six. 
And you may be saying, oh my God, I don't know how to multiply by 14. It doesn't matter. We can use distributive property of multiplication. Yes, guys, remember with distributive property of multiplication, we can break apart one of the factors. So in this case, we can break apart 14. Okay, here we have the first way that we can break 14 into 7 plus 7. Another way is 8 plus 6, 10 plus 4. We can use any of these ways, remember. In this case, I am going to pick 10 plus 4 because I know very good my 10 times table, so I want to use that. But then later, I am going to work with 7 plus 7. My next step is to rewrite the multiplication sentence. In this case, I'm breaking apart the factor 14 into 10 plus 4, so I am going to multiply 10 and 4 times 6. This is the way that I rewrite my multiplication sentence. 10 plus 4, which were the two numbers that I got from the breaking of 14 times 6. Let's continue. 10 times 6. This is my multiplication equation. 10 times 6. Remember, I keep the plus sign. 4 times 6. My plus sign and the parentheses. Then I am going to multiply 10 times 6 equals 16. I keep the plus sign again. And then I multiply 4 times 6, which is 24. What is the next step? Yes, very good. Now the next step is adding those products. 16 plus 24, 0 plus 4, 4, 6 plus 2, 8. Very good. So my answer is 84. 14 times 6. Excellent. Very good, guys. We did it. We have finished with the second example. Now I'm going to work very quick on this one. Let's pay attention. 7 plus 7. This is another way to break apart the number 14. 7 plus 7. Let's rewrite the multiplication sentence. 7 plus 7. Remember the parentheses. Times 6. Then we multiply 7 times 6. And in this case, it's happening something very interesting. As I broke the number 14 into 7 plus 7, I am going to have two identical multiplication equations. 7 times 6 plus 7 times 6, because remember that I broke apart the 14 into 7 plus 7. Now we multiply. 7 times 6 equals 42, and in this case, we don't even need to multiply the other multiplication sentence because it's the same. We just double 42, 42 plus 42, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 4, 8, so the answer is 84 again, because each way we use, we're going to get 84 in this multiplication equation. Yes, done! Very good job! We did it! We have reached the end of this lesson! Any questions? Here you have my email, mathmisramirez at gmail.com You can contact me with your questions. I will be more than happy to answer all of them. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video! Take care! See you soon. Thanks for watching and bye-bye. See you next time. Remember, have fun with math.